Hi, I'm Kylie Hazard, and I graduated from the LA Film School Cinematography Program in 2018. My favorite class was definitely Advanced Cinematography with Ed Ricocci. Um, he was fantastic. <laughs> He's so good. He cares about students in the way that like, he'll seek out what it is that you're trying to learn and make sure that you're able to learn it. So in this class, we got to sort of do a workshop with all of the things that we have at our disposal around us here and just to put them to use. So that we learn things um, and like ways to combine things, ways to rig things that you wouldn't have otherwise done just by having the time to explore it. Um, and my only wish is that there were much more than one month of it. <laughs> I think my favorite was probably this Panavision shoot that I just worked on, and I was cast as the on-camera camera operator, which was a very exciting position just because it's not every day that you get to use a T-series anamorphic lens as a prop. The kind of thing that shoots like a real movie and you just get to sort of use it to demonstrate that you could shoot a movie with it. Um, but it was really exciting to know that Panavision wanted to represent a woman as like someone who's actually working. And it was like very understated, very casual, but I just got to be the woman on the set and got to do my thing. And uh, I mean, the result is already out. It was for an upgrade for Palm Fort's live grade software. Um, so it's kind of cool to get to do some of these work that like is inside the industry directly. Um, but yeah, I mean, this kind of shoot where you get to use, like you're outfitted with the nicest camera in the world just to demonstrate it. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty exciting. Some of the bars I could like, that we were shooting in, they were like, can she be here? Like, <laughs> and like, it was just difficult because it was never about being able to go party, doing anything like that, but just trying to be taken seriously as a 20 year old in this industry is difficult. Um, because even if you think, and I know that at that point I had much to learn, I still have a ton to learn and I'm always going to be learning, but I knew I had something to say. And it was really great to find the people who would listen. Um, because it's, I, I mean, I got a lot of really great work from that. On my 21st birthday, I got a job offer to go to Las Vegas with Zeiss for NAB. Um, so that was a nice, that was a nice birthday gift. <laughs> sort of retiring from all of the difficulties that being 20 in this industry presents. Well, maybe on planet Earth. I think that's the most specific I can get. <laughs> Here on Planet Earth. All right. Well, that's great. So we won't put you on permission from us. <laughs> Who knows? I would be open minded to it. <laughs> yeah, we need a documentarian. We need a documentarian for it. A lot of the ASC members will constantly tell you surround yourself with people who are so much better than you. That's the only way you're going to learn. So if you put yourself way out of your comfort zone and you're the least important person on the set, all you're going to do is learn. If you're outside of your comfort zone, the only way that you can possibly get back to it is by learning. And I think that that is sort of the drive that kind of like will advance your career. Because um, it's, it's kind of this chase. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because you sort of have to, you have to make your own work, but it's a lot easier to make your own work when you're skilled at a place where people need you. And people need PAs, and people need art PAs, and camera department, and GE, &E, and people really need people who are willing to do that and work hard at it. And if you do that, you'll stand out. If you just start accepting that you're a director from day one of film school, it's going to be really difficult to actually pull that off. It won't be impossible, but it'll be extremely difficult. And I think that you're helping yourself out if you give yourself a few more gears. <laughs>